What's up, guys? We are live. Sunday live session is noon. What are you guys up to today? Uh, I got some extra stuff done over the week. I didn't finish what I wanted to finish, but I got some more stuff done. But, um, you know, wanted to go live. You know, we talked about going live every Sunday, so um, it's Sunday, so we're just trying to get in that routine and keep it consistent. But, um, yeah, this week um, we had a couple things we did. Um, went and uh, dropped off a harness for a buddy. Had a guy reach out to me uh, through Instagram uh, to get his harness done as I was working on mine. And uh, we got it taken care of. I took it over to one of my buddy's house. We're going to get it done. And uh, it's going to be for a... Um, LS, LS, it's an L76 out of a G8. Um, it'll have a 6L lady uh, transmission on it, and it's going into like an old school, uh, I think, uh, Chevelle. So, yeah, that'll be pretty cool to be a part of that. Um, but, yeah, man, I've been getting stuff done on mine. I did uh, go ahead and extend the, uh, what was it, the map sensor. I extended the wires for that. I got to take them off. Get them tight. Um, and then I extended the wires for the um, cam position sensor. I just got to splice those in. And then I um, got the crankshaft plugged in. Um, crankshaft position sensor. And then all I have left to do is just um, split the knock sensors down. So yeah, that's been pretty much the uh, last thing I've been trying to get accomplished on this. And again, I'm not in any rush. You know, I, rec I work a regular job and everything. So, um, but yeah, for any of you guys who don't know, this is a uh, 1987 Buick Regal. Uh, I'm putting a 5.3 in it out of a um, Envoy. It's a L33. So um, it's, a, it's the aluminum block. It has like Gen 4 style plugs, but it's, a Gen 3 24X Reluctor uh, 5.3. So uh, it's kind of a in-between hybrid type engine that they put out before they completely went to the fourth gen. So a little bit different than your regular third gen, a little bit different than your regular fourth gen. So um, not that it's better or anything. It's just kind of in-between. But... Uh, Shout out to Monster. Love their energy drinks. Um, but I know a lot of you guys seen my um, videos last week. I posted a video yesterday about the uh, mini truck I've been working on. Um, did receive the uh, fuel sending unit this week. Was hoping to get that done this weekend. So I'll probably put that up. And then... Um, um, we'll get that installed. That'll probably be a video for this next Saturday. And then also, I'll have a complete um, walkthrough of what I had to do on this to get it done, because it will be done, uh, at least the wiring part. Um, and then I have a couple things that I'm a little bit uh, I'm unsure of, but I'll, I'll figure it out. So... You know, I got my fuse box for this harness and everything, but, um, you know, I got everything that's powered on the passenger side of the engine, everything that's powered on the driver's side of the engine. That's how I got it fused out. And then I have a fuse for the uh, computer. And, you know, the big thing is when I wire these in, you know, I got key on power, I got the battery, um, I mean, ground, battery, and then your fuel pump. That's pretty much all I have left on here to connect. And then you have all these data wires. You know, this is sensor stuff that, you know, you can, um, well, you'll need the torque converter control lockup, but, because that goes to the computer, but like your fan, since I don't have a fan yet, I won't be wiring that up. The other fan, if you want two fans, you can have them wired up. 
and all that can be controlled through the computer. All this stuff, all these small wires, I don't know if you guys can see that, all these are controlled by the computer. <clears throat> Some of you guys may or may not want all those options. You may have a mechanical fan, you may not use that. You may have, uh, you may not want a tachometer, you may not use that. So like these are kind of, you know, you may not want a speedometer. Those things are all kind of like optional, but really with the way this is set up, these are the only must haves that I have to wire in. So <clears throat> obviously I think I will need the uh, data OBD2 data port, but um, so I can tune it or whatever. But um, a lot of that data stuff, that's all through the computer. You may or may not have those options on your car. You may or may not want them. So yeah, that's what we're getting to. Um, on the other side of the car, you have the factory um, wires that came with the Regal. I had to look through those and see what ones I don't need because a lot of them are already in this harness here. So we're just chugging along, man, you know, figuring it out as I go. That's pretty much what I'm doing here. So. Um, if you guys can hear me and if the video is clear, I should have probably asked you this a little bit earlier. If you guys can hear me and the video is clear, can you please um, comment in the uh, comment section just saying that the um, video is clear or the sound is clear so I can know. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. No big, big updates as of right now. But I did want to go live. Hopefully a couple of you guys get on here and we can chat about some of your projects. You know, I wish that I could get something monumental, like done every week. Um, but I'm kind of just, you know, splitting my time in so many different ways that I can do just a little bit on everything right now. So, all right. So audio and video is clear. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I really didn't have a whole bunch for you guys today as far as updates. Um, if any of you guys have anything to chime in, um, you know, leave it in the comment section because I do read the comments. Um, I do respond to those and, you know, any help, any advice is always appreciated. And then, yeah, I mean, I still believe and still want to get this thing started before you know winter just to get it started you know uh, oil in it um, exhaust manifolds on you know turn key I want to get it started before the end of before the end of the year and um, you know I was out here probably till like one o'clock in the morning um, this morning and uh, just you know trying to get little stuff done you know, wiring these things up and extending the wires. I was just looking at everything like it's possible. It's it's really possible to get all this stuff done and it just it takes those long nights sometimes and you know, where you could just focus and put your head down and work. Um, I know a lot of you guys have projects, you know, that you're working on and if I could give anybody any advice, it would be to just focus on like one part of that project until you finish it. Like, like I, like I shouldn't jump in the fuel system until this wiring situation is done. Like, um, I shouldn't even be working on that truck until this wiring system is done, but you know, things happen. But if you can, if you can at all control it, stay on one part of the car until you finish that part. You know, if you're just, you know, doing the transmission and all the cooling lines and, you know, setting that up, work on that until it's done. And then you do your cooling system. Then you do your fuel system, your electrical system, you know, just and then your drive line, whatever. But and then your brake system, just focus on one portion at a time. It'll it'll help out a lot and you'll feel like stuff is getting done a lot of times when. I'm going through the process of getting stuff done here. It's like, 
man, I, I, I'm not seeing any progress because I'm jumping all over the place. But um, with taking that into consideration, I, I'm going to try to focus more on one thing at a time. Like you guys who've watched this channel for a while, you know I have a 84 uh, Oldsmobile Delta 88. Like I was trying to juggle that and this at one point. Um, and it's just like, for one, you'll spend all your money, you know, and not have anything done um, between the two projects and that can get you a little discouraged. And then it's like, it, it just, it feels bad. You know, it's like, I, ain't, I don't, I don't have anything complete. So um, if you guys can, if you guys agree with that, you know, go ahead and let me know, put in the comments. If you think I'm full of crap, let me know too. Cause I mean, that's, that's my opinion. I mean, I'm based off of what I'm going through here is, I think if I could just focus on that one piece of the puzzle, I would have, um, you know, more done instead of hopping around. But uh, that's all I have for today, guys. Um, if you guys, like I said, have anything, let me know. We'll try to get more of these videos out every Sunday, at least alive every Sunday. That's that's for sure. And then I'll upload the regular stuff, you know more videos about this car i'm gonna try to get you guys one about this car every week um, the truck has just kind of been something that has to happen um, i wasn't planning on it to happen right now but um, as things come up on that i'll put those out um, but the priority is to get this mobile so i can move it in and out of the garage at least and do the same thing for the truck so if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos, make sure you hit the like, I mean, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell as well. I'm going to get off here. Take care. Peace.